For members of the Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance, getting through 2020 meant drawing on deep wells of courage and resilience. The introduction of public health restrictions to prevent the spread of COVID in March last year hit the industries our members work in like a sledgehammer. Insecure work is a way of life in these industries which have a workforce mostly made up of freelance, casual and contract workers. But accustomed as they are to precarious work, nothing prepared members of the MIA for the upheaval caused by COVID. Many of them saw all of the income they'd expected to earn in 2020 disappear instantly when events and productions were shut down. Not only were the arts, events and entertainment sectors among the hardest hit by the pandemic because of the very nature of being events where large crowds congregate, but they will be among the last to recover. The media was not spared either, with more than 100 regional, rural and community mastheads suspending operations or closing down for good when advertising revenue disappeared due to the pandemic. Between March and May last year, Almost one in three jobs in the creative and performing arts, motion picture and sound recording and publishing sectors were lost. These are not only the people you see under the spotlight on stage and screen, but the tens of thousands behind the scenes, from the lighting and sound technicians to the ushers clipping your ticket and showing you to your seat. The federal government was no help. Freelancers and short-term casuals were unable to claim JobKeeper and when federal financial support for the arts did come, it was too little and way too late. Throughout 2020, MIA members waged dozens of campaigns in workplaces large and small to save jobs and secure income support for workers. But what gave us most pride was the way all our members came together collectively to support each other throughout this crisis. And this can be distilled down to one special event, a National Online Day of Action on April 7, calling for improvements to JobKeeper. That day our members created more than 300 self-filmed videos that reached hundreds of thousands of Australians and generated thousands and thousands of emails to MPs and Senators. While a cold-hearted government stubbornly resisted calls to widen the scope of JobKeeper, this event and others like it instilled in those members a sense of the camaraderie and solidarity that comes from being in a union. It reminded them that their fellow members will look after each other in dark times and in the process uncovered a new generation of activists who will lead many successful campaigns in years to come. As a result, we now have a more active and engaged union than at any time in our recent history.